All right, guys, just want to make a quick video on charging the Shimano Di2 battery um, using a using your own charger. So, for example, you lost your Di2 charger or you bought a bike and you didn't get one. Um, same thing happened to me. I bought a bike and the charger got lost during the shipping. I, get, I think it fell out of the big uh, bike box. So I did a lot of rides and now my battery is strained. So I found a way to charge the battery. It's very simple. Um, I already have LiPo chargers, so I'm just using a Cell Pro Power Lab 6. You don't have to use the same exact charger. You can even use a, ch a cheap $20 charger if you want, and you need a power supply. And sometimes you can buy chargers with the power supply built in. So all you need is something very basic that has a digital screen and that you can bypass the balance port. So basically, I just got some leads rigged up to some alligator clips and just connectors. So I'm not going to show you guys exactly how to do this. But it's very simple. Um, just look up your instructions on how to use your charger firsthand. But if you're looking at the inside of the battery, there's a little barrel with a pin. The center pin is going to be the positive, and the outer ring um, around that is going to be your ground or negative. And then you can also verify that with a voltmeter if you want, and you hook it up to your charger. Most chargers will have a reverse polarity protection, so if you do hook it up backwards, um, your charger will beep and let you know. But yeah, I charge it as a 2S pack, a LiPo pack. I have the balance feature turn off. If you have a cheaper charger, what you could actually do too is um, you can charge it in NICAD mode or nickel metal hydrate battery and just set the uh, voltage so that way it's low. But I'm using LiPo mode 2S and right now it is at 15% charge. I'm at 7.4 volts and you can see it's charging. Um, I started off at 1% so the, this battery was pretty much drained. Um, the front derailleur stopped shifting. And you can see um, I'm charging at five, um, at 0.55 amp hours, whatever. Um, so it's milliamp. So it's very, very slow charge rate. The battery says you can charge up to one amp, but I want this battery to last. So I'm gonna just charge at a slow rate. And then that's not important, but currently I put in 171 uh, milliamp hours. So it's about, hey, you know, it's a good, a good charge. So yeah. Um, just want to show you guys that you actually could charge a Di2 battery. You know, so for example, you lost your charger or you forgot it somewhere and you're in a bind. If you if you're traveling and you don't want to bring your Di2 charger, you can actually use a LiPo charger. It's very simple. Uh, I'm planning to buy a, ch a very cheap, uh, basic um, AC DC charger you can find on Amazon, eBay for like 20 bucks, and just slice in some leads. You can also buy the Shimano um, extension cable, the Di2 ex you know extension cables and just uh, cut it and solder on the leads to your charger and stuff like that. So um, once again, you don't have to spend 130 bucks to buy a Shimano Di2 charger because if you lose it, it's very expensive and not everybody needs to use that, that BCR2 charger to update firmware and change settings. People just want to use it as a basic charger. So that is an option for like, 20, 30 bucks, you can have a do-it-yourself um, charger to charge your Di2 battery. So you can see the battery. Uh, I don't want to move it because I have it, ha I have it just jerry-rigged for now, um, but it is charging. It's at 16% now, so yeah, it is doable. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the comment box below. I got my C-Post wedge and some tools there, but yeah, it's doable.